August 2nd. This is Matt from Dice of the Round Table. Thanks for checking out my painting up desk update. And this is going to be like a project update as well. So let's get to the table. I'll show you what I've been working on. And uh, here we go. So I had a friend cut up an MDF base or a sheet of MDF into some squares and rectangles for me for different sizes. And then I took um, some thin balsa wood and glued it to get the framing for the movement trays. I've never really done a rank and file game. Uh, it's always been something I've been interested in. But for the Project Times of War, the rule set I've been messing around with, um, I'm starting to get some models put together for it. These are the Warlord um, from Hail Caesar starter Celts, but they also use them for Gauls. These are just going to be light infantry. And what I ended up doing was, because Hail Caesar doesn't have bases, I found on eBay these 20 millimeter 3D printed ones. These were these are really nice. They're nice and smooth finish up top. All the um, textures on the bottom, so it's a really nice smooth finish. And so I cut off most of the support around the feet from Warlord to glue them down and give them not to have as much height as possible. So that's 20 guys there. The infantry, these are SBQR Numnian mercenary horsemen, but it's 20 per infantry tray, but for the uh, cavalry, it's a 15 tray. And we, the way we cut them, I just cut them so there's a little extra room that way. They're not super tight and there's some give if I need to for how they're sorted. And I had a survey or a poll up and the vote was to go with Gauls first. But in the box here, I still got the Roman half of the starter. So I got some Roman infantry I got to do. And I did do the Scorpio already set up and there's no edging on this since it's a war machine i just based it up and going to use it as is there without the edge so that's the project uh so i don't know how much painting i'm going to get done in the next couple weeks i'm kind of in the assembly mode now i'm thinking i might assemble a unit of 20 paint a unit of 20 for that monotony breakup i haven't really like i said i haven't really done a rank and file totally yet but at the same time, I also um, have on my wish list to do some terrain building again because I did the terrain boxes ready to go, tabletop ready, and I only have one left. So I got to probably sit and make and paint up some more of those to get ready to sell on the website. Either way, that's what I'll be working on and you'll be seeing some goals getting painted in the next couple weeks, I think. So thanks for checking out and keep gaming.